Welcome to another episode of my camper van conversion or having a go conversion. The last vlog was furniture build part two and since then unfortunately my kitchen appliances have still not turned up so I can't get on with building the kitchen which means there's only one job that I can really get on with and it's the job that I've been dreading through this whole build because I hate it and it's painting. Luckily Jason's made a start he's already primed or, or undercoated the the bulkhead and he's done one coat of stain on the ceiling which looks great but now that leaves me to carry on I suppose continue primering the rest of it there's a lot of wood in here there's a lot so Jason as we spoke in the last vlog made the doors done a great job of that gonna do the cupboards gray like a gray pewter I think will look quite cool and then done the inserts white so I'll do the walls white the cupboards gray and then I think actually this one kind of goes up here. A dragon. Sweet, isn't it? I'm really hoping Jason turns up for this vlog and gives me a hand because I don't want to do it. But it's got to be done. So dark wood ceiling, the nice sort of chestnut dark wood floor, uh, the white walls and the kind of grey cupboards. I'll probably do my kitchen cupboards this colour as well just to break up a little bit. But here we go. A long ass time lapse, I should imagine, of uh, a lot of painting, but it'll look good, I'm sure. Let's rock and roll. painting at the moment because I ran out of primer so in a second I'm just going to shoot to Wix and get some more um, but in the meantime what I've decided to do is actually whip these uh, door cards off that I made uh, for a couple of reasons one to paint them because I think it'll be easier to paint with their on a bench and the other reason is uh, you see here like where it's cracked it's done that in a couple of places on the sliding door and the rear doors so what I'm actually going to do is give the old um, uh, ply paneling that was on here originally when I bought the van and I'm actually going to stick these or, or fix these panels to those panels which will just give it some structure give it some strength and then I'll refix them and I'll put a bead or actually I'll probably put a bead of silicon or something with a bit of flex between the panel and the steel work of the van which hopefully should just stop it from moving and, and cracking then obviously I'll refix it back on again um, I'm also while they're off it's probably going to give the actual door a little coat of paint so you can see that you can see here it's all a bit rough around here i know i've still got to make this little windowsill up but just it'll just tidy all this edge up because i don't want to carpet all that i want to try and keep it that the metal on show but i say that i might carpet it because it might look better it might be better insulated but we'll have a think about that i'm going to paint it regardless so i'm going to get those off now the back door ones off and then have a go at doing that and then while that's drying i'll shoot and get some more paint and then get everything else painted um what was also what's happened is while i was painting that jason um knotted or put them in it i don't know what this does he's not here at the moment so i probably would get him to explain it to you but he's gone over all the knots so I'm, I'm assuming to stop them from leaking through the paint so seals them maybe you guys can tell me more about that but he said it's a good idea so it's great i'm going with it and then i can give this another coat so it's good we're getting there Progress is progress.
panels off and using the old ply that the van was lined out with I've basically cut some panels which are slightly smaller than the tongue groove panels that I made and glued them to the back of them so I'm just waiting for that to go off now while I was doing that I had a visit from a full-time van lifer and luckily I managed to find enough paint to uh, undercoat the rest of the van so his name's Harry and he's been cracking on with that so we'll go and see how he's getting on shall we hello hello everybody <laughs> been keeping me busy as you can see <laughs> not too many mistakes just a little one just a little one um, it's looking very different now eh? oh it looks amazing yeah so harry's been painting the van out as you can see and it looks really good it looks very different now it looks very white so it'd be good to get some color on the walls so you're nearly done now you nearly ran out of paint in you pretty much yeah <laughs> so uh, we'll, uh... not too much on myself but <laughs> he's done, really done better than i did yesterday so we've got um so i have to shoot off and get a little bit of paint in a bit so while we're letting this dry off, Harry and I are going to go and do a full tour of his van. So look out for that video and I'll chuck a link to his Instagram in the description below. So you'll, you'll see all the updates you've been doing over the last few years, really. But yeah, thank you very much for this, mate. It looks, it looks awesome. So once we've done that, yeah, it has been a good day so far. It's been beautiful weather as well, which makes a nice change. Yeah, nice. It's been rain. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it's been a nightmare. So once I come back from that, or well, the rest of this, this video will be basically... Uh, finishing off undercoating, prepping those panels up that I made earlier and then getting them fitted back on and also painting the metalwork up on the doors. But I'm looking forward to doing the van tour. Yeah. So we'll go and get that. It's not done. finished yet. <laughs> we'll, we'll check it out in the video. I'm still living in it, but it's not finished. No, that's good. So. I'll put a, I'll put a link to that video as well in the description so you can keep an eye out for that. But sweet. just seen i've finished undercoating the door panels that i made up out of the tongue and groove what i'm going to do now is finish undercoating or primary or whatever you want to call it the rest of the van there's a few gaps like inside this covers and the the area or the garage area where the bike's going to go still needs prepping as you saw jason or as i described earlier jason sealed all the knots with some knot sealing stuff and based on the advice that i was given and the research i've done the first coat i've used this water-based quick dry wood primer literally everywhere so it's come up quite well and it dries really quickly funnily enough i'll just finish off the few bits and pieces but obviously areas like this i'm going to leave because it's going to be carpeted but the rest of it i'll do quickly now after that once it's dried off i'll give it another coat of some oil-based primer but i'll talk about that when we um when we get that far so while i'm while i'm waiting for everything to dry after i've done that last coat of primer I'm just going to go around the metal work of the van, sort of expose steel works, give them a bit of a key or rub down. And I'm just going to mask them all up and basically just get some or spray them with this. Just some, I know it's probably backwards because my bloody camera is the way. I need some decent filming equipment. The more I do this, I've realised like everything's backwards. But um, anyway, it's Hammer Eye uh, Metal Paint Smooth White. So I'm just going to use that. Anyway, you can see, hopefully I don't get it all over the seals and stuff because painting... It's much like my carpentry, definitely not my speciality. So we'll, uh, we'll see how that goes, shall we? But it looks cool now, it's all white. Can you see it? Like the contrasting colors, like with the roof and with the white, I think it looks pretty cool. So this will be more or less the theme of the van. I'm actually tempted to keep stuff white, but I think, I don't know. Don't know. I got my lights yesterday as well. So it'd be pretty cool. Maybe probably in, in the next vlog we might get some lights on once i get the ceiling and another coat of stain but it's good it's looking really good so let's crack on eh
everything that needs covering in paint has at least had one coat of paint I believe yeah so as I mentioned I've coated all the wood in that water-based quick dry undercoat everything's been done so I'm done with that I've given all the metal work uh, one coat of that hammer I've got the camera the right way around this time so you should actually be able to see that the hammer right um, my spray in is, is terrible so there's a few runs and stuff, but when it goes off, I'll rub it down and I'll give it another coat and it should look okay, a lot better than what it did. Next job is to fill all the little holes and the nail guns and all these tight little holes on here. Oh, and put the trim on here, so I'll get that done. I'm not really sure how interesting these time lapses are at the moment, so it's, it's quite cool to see like things being covered, but the next job is to cover it all again in white. So what I'll probably do is after this bit, I'll probably see how far I get and then just do some slow mos of the, the whole van and just we'll see what, see what it looks like. It's Tuesday, I don't want to rush it, so the vlog will be out on Friday. So whatever I get done between now and Friday will be what comes after this little bit. So, once I've filled it, I'm going to, uh, not that one, Wix Trade Undercoat. So this is an oil based undercoat, I'm going to cover everything in this. Then the walls are going to go uh, satin wood, pure, brilliant white, because I think the white and the dark ceiling and the dark floor actually go really well. And it, it's really nice and bright in here now, even though the window's masked up. So that's what I'll stick on the walls. This will all be done over the next couple of weeks. The covers, I'm going to go this uh, pewter. I'll stick a link in the description um, to all these paints and the, the knot stuff and the hammer I said so if you want to use this stuff on your own van bills then at least you can you can use them you know where to get them from but so as I mentioned I'll see how far I get with them this week and then whatever comes after this little talking bit of the vlog will be how far I'll get but it's good it's good paint on the walls which is really exciting um hopefully in the next one when my appliances turn up if my appliances turn up then I'll do a kitchen, I'll quite like to do a talk through of the appliances that I've bought and why I've bought them and I'll sort of position them in the van and show you where they're going to go So I think that'll be pretty good. What else is there to mention? Oh, I'll get another stain on the ceiling and then get the fan housing in. That's a job for the next vlog, I'm hoping that'll be done, we'll get some lights on, it'll look sparkly in here. I will do another vlog later on purely on the electrics when I get there because that's probably the one thing on this van build which I am quite... I know my stuff about, I said it now, we'll find out when we actually get to it. That'll be quite good, I'll do a little tutorial on the electrics because I'm pretty confident with that, I'm pretty happy with how that's going to go. What else is exciting? Okay, what is really exciting is I, the, the channel hit two awesome milestones this week and I couldn't have done it obviously without any of you guys watching at home. Uh, I hit 100 subscribers, or well, now I'm on 125 or something, which is awesome. So thank you very much for all of you who have subscribed and subscribe to the ones that haven't subscribed and if you can share my videos or I'm going to try and do a bit more mountain biking edits and stuff that will sort of tie in with this because that's ultimately what I'm doing the van for so if you've got friends or anyone who's into mountain biking or BMX or van builds please please share my videos get the numbers up ultimately this is the dream isn't it you know to do this as a job so I'm really enjoying it and we all want to do a job that we really enjoy um, the other milestone is I think it's vlog 9 <laughs> The cab shelf out of all the vlogs is the first video to hit a thousand views. I think again it's on like 1150 views now which is absolutely amazing you know I started this vlog in a couple of months ago or this van build a couple of months ago just sort of as a bit of a laugh I've always wanted to do video editing and see where I go with it just because I enjoy it. I probably enjoy the video editing more than I do the van but I, I, it's awesome. So yeah thank you very much for watching I really appreciate all the efforts and the comments and stuff that you guys bring in. So, sweet. The next one, hopefully the kitchen build, but it's looking good, chuffed. Cool, see you the next one, subscribe.